Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to another episode, in today's video we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also we're gonna have a look into Ethereum. So Bitcoin is currently still trapped here below $51,000, so far we are having this important price level right now as a resistance. And I'm still pretty confident that we could see here a nice bounce to the upside, even though the lower time frames are still looking a bit bearish and we could be even heading lower. But I like this consolidation that we are having right now. And uh, since we are now also in the weekend and we're not seeing here a major sell off for now, there are signs that we could look for a nice week ahead where we could see here potentially follow through to the upside. So we're gonna analyze the lower time frames and the daily of course. And just a reminder, if you're trading over on Bybit with the leverage, currently you can get up to $1,000 in bonus if you open up a new account with my refer link down below here and then go here to this bonus claim website. Here you can get up to $1,000 in bonus so go and take this free money because like this you can do some free trades here on Bybit. All right, my friends. So let's start here with the one hour time frame. Currently, the good thing is that we are having all the moving averages coming down here towards the EMA ribbons. And as you can see, we are still below the EMA ribbons. So in the one hour time frame, we are still bearish. But once we are able to close one hour candles above the EMA ribbons, so above $50,300 and hopefully go up here to also break above $51,000, our first resistance level here, this 0.236 Fibonacci retracement from this drop that we had from the top here of $65,000 and the current bottom that we have here at $48,000. Once we are breaking this $51,000, then we can head towards our next potential resistance here at $54,000 and so on. We have to climb up slowly here to reach our potential breeder target here of around $57,000 to potentially even $61,000 that I also covered in yesterday's video. So I'm pretty confident that we at least are coming up here to test $57,000 before we maybe even gonna continue our correction phase. But if here we are getting a bounce, the target is at least to reach $57,000, maybe even $61,000, and then we're gonna see what will happen. Because if we're able to push higher here, I'm pretty confident that we are back in our bull market and we should head towards new all-time highs. But if here we are getting rejected at the 0.786 or here at the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement, so between 57 to 61 thousand dollars, we could create here maybe a lower high, and that of course is a bearish sign for the next coming days and weeks. So currently here in the one hour time frame, we're still waiting here for a close above $50,500 and then hopefully also break $51,000 in order to go higher. It is also possible that here we are building up right now an ascending triangle. So if we're gonna break out here to the upside, the target is here 54, before maybe then we're coming back down to retest 51,000 as a support and then move on towards higher levels. That is what I think could happen here in the next coming hours and days if we are able to break through here to the upside and then slowly start our bounce here towards our targets here between 57 to 61 thousand dollars. So in the one hour time frame, we are still in this consolidation phase and as long as we are creating these higher lows in the one hour, uh, I think that chances are very high that we could see here a nice breakout to the upside. So if you are trading that over on a Bybit or Femex where you can trade with leverage, that could be a nice trade to do. The target is here $54,000 for the short term. But uh, if we are able to create a bottom here, the ultimate target would be here the 0.618 at 57k or here the 0.786 at $61,000 as I also told you in yesterday's video. 
and now we can go over into the four hour time frame because here you can see that we still have a lot of work to do in order to go back in an uptrend in the four hour time frame although we still have money flow in negative so money is leaving the market and that is not a good sign we also have uh, the RSI trading below the 50 level so we are trading on the bearish side so even though we could see here a breakout to the upside which will take us towards uh, $54,000 you can see that this would be only the top of the EMA ribbons in the 4 hour time frame and that's why even though we could go to $54,000 that wouldn't mean that we are back in an uptrend in the 4 hour time frame in the 1 hour yes but in the 4 hour we should start also to create a support above the EMA ribbon so trade again above $54,000 and the other problem is up here the 200 moving average as you can see it's right here at the 0.618 fibonacci retracement at fifty-seven thousand dollars. so that's why i think in this region up here we could face some huge problems and that of course uh, will also tell us what will happen lower high or continuation to the upside so the four hour time frame uh, is still bearish but we have the chance based on the one hour time frame that we could see an attempt here to break through the EMA ribbons and then hopefully start to close four hour candles above $54,000 that will lead into such a push towards fifty seven to $61,000 dollars so once we're getting this bounce towards fifty four thousand dollars let's see what happened based on the four hour time frame we most likely are getting rejected here at least at the beginning maybe come down to test 51k before then we gear up towards uh, higher levels and if we go over into the daily time frame here you can see that yesterday we had a nice close above the 100 daily moving average and I told you that it will be very important that we're closing daily candles above the 100 daily moving average. It doesn't matter if we have some weeks to the downside. The important thing is that we close at least above $49,700 because in that case we could have here a nice bounce to the upside and that could be a local bottom if we now get supported by the 100 daily moving average because if this support is lost here the next moving average would be the 200 daily moving average down here at around $35,000 and that of course would lead into a massive correction here from 50k down to $35,000 so that's why it is very important that we're holding here the 100 daily moving average as a support so let's see if today we are able to close above $49,700 that also could lead into a massive bounce to the upside to go and retest here the EMA ribbons and the 20 daily moving moving average here at around $57,000 and another good thing here in the daily time frame is of course right now the RSI and my own indicator we are getting into very oversold condition so a bounce is very likely to happen very soon especially if here we are getting a buy signal so I'm waiting here to have this buy signal in order to have the confirmation that this could be a local bottom and we're gonna have a big bounce to the upside and the other good thing is also here in the MACD and stochastic RSI you can see that with this dump that we had we are completely flat here in the stochastic we are at zero and also in the MACD we are in very very oversold conditions so also here is just a matter of time until we are getting a bullish cross and that of course could fire up things very quickly to the upside again so both stochastic rsi and also the macd is in complete oversold condition and also if we zoom out you can see that the MACD wasn't that oversold since a long time even with these corrections that we had here during our bull run you can see that the MACD only came down here to the zero level and always had a big bounce to the upside now it's the first time when we are seeing the MACD falling below the zero level so we are in complete oversold condition and the last time when the MACD was so oversold was right here in this corona dump in 2020 when we had this huge crash you can see that also here MACD came into very oversold condition below the zero level and right now we are even lower than that so based on the MACD this could be a potential bottom area here for Bitcoin and after getting a successful bounce in theory we should go back into our bull market because remember also with this dump in 2020 afterwards we didn't get any other bigger correction we just started our parabolic phase to the upside so in theory based here on the MACD the chances are very high 
that we are not gonna create here a lower high and continue a prolonged correction phase, but based on the MACD here, this could be an ultimate bottom here and then continue our bull market. So even though the chances are very high, in my opinion, that even though we could get a bounce here, that we could create a lower high and continue a prolonged bear market or correction phase during the summer, based on the MACD, this should be right here, the ultimate bottom, similar like we had also in the Corona dump in 2020. And we should look further here for continuation to the upside for our bull market. And maybe we are not getting such a prolonged correction phase, similar like we also had with the first local top in 2013. This is all going to be depending if here we are getting a bounce and also what will happen once we're going to retest this 60k area. But watching here at the stochastic RSI being so oversold and also in the MACD, there are some chances for the bulls that we are even able to continue our bull market without getting here a lower high. So the MACD is looking extremely bullish if we are getting here a bullish cross and of course also bounce here at the 100 daily moving average, latest at the 20 weekly moving average, which currently is down here at around $44,000. And tomorrow, as soon as we start another new week, also this moving average will be slightly higher so then we have to update this moving average again so everything is looking like that we could be in here for a nice breather to the upside and this then of course will tell us if we are able to go back in our bull market and continue to create new all-time highs or if we're getting rejected here between 57 to 61 thousand dollars and then continue our correction phase in the worst case even down towards the 200 daily moving average so let me know in the comment section, my friends, what do you think? Are we going to create here a lower high if we are getting a bounce or could we go back into our parabolic phase towards new all time highs? Thanks to the MACD and the complete oversold stochastic RSI. Let me know what are you thinking? And now that we have covered Bitcoin, let's go over to Ethereum because Ethereum is still looking bullish in my opinion, even though we are also here trending to the downside, we are also here below the EMA ribbons in the four hour time frame. But uh, as long as we are maintaining this support here of around $2,100 and maybe even go up here to retest the 20 moving average and start to close four hour candles again above $2,300, I'm pretty confident that here we're gonna see new all time highs pretty soon because the next potential new all time high could be up here at around $2,700 based on this channel that we are in currently. And if we're gonna fail here to hold this $2,000 level, I'm pretty confident that we're gonna go straight towards the main support at around 1870 here we should at least have some support if we're going to continue to drop here and also here as you can see we're not able right now to push higher than the 0.236 fibonacci retracement level from this dump that we had exactly the same like we are seeing right now over on bitcoin and if we go over into the daily time frame, here you can see that we are still trending within the EMA ribbons in the daily time frame. So here in theory, we are still in an uptrend as long as we're closing the daily candles above the EMA ribbon, so at least above $2,020. And that's why the Ethereum chart currently is looking way more bullish than the one on Bitcoin. And that's why here I'm still expecting new all time highs to come in the not so distant future, especially if Bitcoin is able to push higher and have this breather towards 57 to 61 thousand dollars. So the Ethereum chart currently is looking way better than the Bitcoin one. So that's why here I'm expecting continuation to the upside as long as we're closing candles at least above $2,000. And another interesting thing is here the Bitcoin dominance because it looks like that here at 50% we are getting a potential bounce because we have currently a bullish divergence in the Bitcoin dominance. We have a higher low in the RSI and a lower low in the price action. And as you can see here, this 50% level is a very important key level for the Bitcoin dominance, which also in the past acted as a strong support and resistance. So here we could see something similar like we also did here in 2017. We bottomed out at 50%. Then we had here this big rise up 
back again towards 68%. This could be also now our potential target up here. And then we started a huge altcoin season. You can see the Bitcoin dominance dropped down towards 36%. And something similar we could also see here if we're getting a breather to the upside towards 55 to 60%. In the best case, even up here towards 65% and then start a huge altcoin season. Maybe after Bitcoin is reaching the cycle top or at least a local top because usually the altcoins always pumps and gets to their cycle tops after Bitcoin is reaching the cycle top. So that's why I think the show will be back on Bitcoin if here we're getting a successful bounce to the upside. In my opinion, most of the altcoins will be stuck in their price levels and Bitcoin will lead again the show and start a parabolic rise up. If here, of course, we are getting a nice breather to the upside and are also able to create new all time highs. This would be denied this potential big rise up in the Bitcoin price and also in the Bitcoin dominance if we're getting a lower high here between 57 to 61 thousand dollars and then start a prolonged correction phase. But if this is really the bottom and we're going to start another big parabolic move towards new all time highs, then I think this scenario is very legit that the Bitcoin dominance could even come up here towards 67 percent. Then here maybe top out somewhere, get the cycle top and then we're going to start a huge altcoin season if the Bitcoin dominance is dropping again. So even though the altcoins right now, especially Ethereum, is looking way more bullish than Bitcoin, I still think that the next big move will be over on Bitcoin. And that, of course, will also mean that Bitcoin will outperform most of the altcoins, in my opinion, if we are getting now a nice breather and push to the upside and hopefully are able to create new all time highs. It only gets dangerous if we're going to create lower highs. In that case, be prepared that we could see exactly the same thing like in 2013, a prolonged correction phase but if we are able to go towards 61k and break it to the upside I'm pretty confident that the correction phase is over this was the bottom similar like in the corona dump in 2020 and we're gonna start again a big parabolic phase towards our real cycle top for this bull market so with that said guys we're gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and if you're interested in trading bots, then make sure to watch my tutorial that I did. The video is popping up at the end of this video. This is also my referral link here in the description if you want to try out trading bots. Currently, I'm running them over on Bitscap connected to my Binance account. So you can connect all of your exchanges to one platform and then run trading bots on them. So definitely go and check them out. Bitscap is offering to our community the pro plan completely for free for 14 days after Afterwards, the monthly plans are starting only for $19. So you should be able to make the money back very quickly. So that's why go and try out for 14 days these nice trading bots. You can do all the arbitrage here if you have many exchanges like this. Of course, you can also do some passive money. And a big shout out to our great crypto trading chat over on Discord. If you want to get to our nice crypto community here on Discord, you just have to click on the invitation link here in the description and then you go here to read first you have to click on this thumbs up button to confirm that you're human and not a bot like this you have free access to the trading chat and this is also the place where you can get access to my own indicator which is giving you buy and sell signals for Bitcoin you just have to send me here a private message because a small donation is needed to get access to the indicator otherwise just get a YouTube membership so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one Bye.